Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to continue my Ultimate Hero Guide series, this time focusing on the high-flying bounty hunter Boba Fett. In this guide we'll cover the basics of Boba, his health and regeneration stats, his weapon of choice, each of his abilities, and finally the star cards that I like to use for both Galactic Assault and the Hero game modes. We will then dive into some general gameplay tips for both Galactic Assault and the hero game modes and finish it off with some characters to avoid if you do not wish to have an untimely death while playing Boba. So we'll start off with his health and regeneration stats. Boba sits at 600 base health which is the equal lowest amongst all heroes in the game which is tied with Bosk, Finn and BB9E. He also has 150 health regeneration which is again equal lowest amongst all heroes in the game with tied with Phasma. However, Boba's jetpack and advanced mobility makes up for these low health stats as he can easily escape hairy situations and also sneak up on unsuspecting enemies. His weapon of choice is his EE3 blaster, which is a 3 burst weapon that deals 35 damage to the body or 66 damage to the head at close range, which for all 3 hits totals 105 or 199 damage respectively assuming all three shots land and this drops off to 25 damage to the body or 47 damage to the head at longer range which totals to either 75 or 141 respectively for all three shots. Uh, the difference with the long range is that the spread on his blaster is quite high and you are unable to aim down sights thus it is recommended to stick to close and medium range encounters to fully utilize his weapon. At these ranges it is one of the best overall weapons in the game. Uh, another point with Boba's weaponry is his flamethrower melee which works differently to all the other characters in the game and it deals 100 damage per hit which is much higher than any other character's melee at least amongst the blaster wielding characters. This is another underrated aspect of Boba and is especially useful against those classes that like to use shields such as heavies and specialists. So now that we've covered the basics, we can now move on to his abilities, starting with his left ability which is the concussion missile. This fires a small missile from his wrist which temporarily blinds enemies making them unable to see. However, it does not deal any damage and thus I find it to be extremely situational. There is a star card that gives this ability an extra little niche, which I'll get into in the star card section. Uh, so now we'll move on to his middle ability, which is called For the Hunt. While this ability is active, Boba gets unlimited jetpack fuel for a short period of time, and nearby enemies are outlined in yellow allowing him to sneak up on unsuspecting enemies as he is removed from the radar during this ability. The only negative to this ability is that your fuel gauge will not refill during the active time, which is something I will cover more in more detail when we get to the general gameplay tips. So last ability for Boba is his rocket barrage, which is definitely his best ability. This shoots 5 rockets from his wrist gauntlet which each deals 75 damage which totals 375 if all 5 rockets land. This is by far his best ability and you should be using it as often as you can without overly relying on it of course. Uh, it's especially useful on groups of infantry to deal massive amounts of damage very quickly and get some nice multi kills. So now that we have covered all of his abilities, let's move on to the star cards that I like to use for both Galactic Assault and the Hero game modes. Uh, in the rare case of Boba Fett, I actually have the exact same three card loadout for all game modes. Uh, the first of these cards is called Extended Exposure, which reveals enemies up to six seconds longer during the For the Hunt ability. This is extremely useful since highlighted enemies still appear on your radar even after the ability has entered cooldown, which allows you extra time to spot those harder to find enemies. Uh, the only downside of this card is that it doesn't give you extra uh, unlimited fuel for that 6 second period, it's only for the revealing part. Uh, the second card that I like to use is called Blaster Disabler which disables and overheats enemy blasters if they are hit by the concussion missile directly. 
this is the nice little niche for the concussion missile ability that I alluded to a bit earlier which is a huge advantage especially in galactic assault against regular troopers and reinforcements and of course other blaster heroes which I'll cover in detail later now the final card that I like to use with Boba is called Focalize which makes each rocket from Boba's barrage deal 10 extra damage within a 1 meter radius which gives him a total of 85 damage per rocket or 425 if you add all 5 rockets together with Boba's low health stats any way of dealing more damage over a quick period of time is highly advisable uh, one other card I will mention to recommend trying in Galactic Assault especially is called Born to Fly which decreases the cooldown of all of his abilities by 20% while he is in midair. However, the downside is that his health regeneration starts 1.5 seconds later. Uh, because of this, I find this drawback of the card to be too much of a hindrance given Boba's low health regen already, but it's worth trying, so let me know if it works for you. Uh, finally, we'll now move on to some more general gameplay tips, starting with Galactic Assault, of course. The first and most important tip that I can tell you guys is to manage your jetpack fuel. You don't always have to be in the air all of the time, so while your fuel is low, stick to the ground for a little while, utilising his dashes to elude danger, and wait for your fuel to replenish. Additionally, as I said before, during his For the Hunt ability the fuel will stop replenishing so try and avoid activating that For the Hunt ability whilst your fuel gauge is low unless of course you're in a tough situation and have to get out of there quickly uh, another good way of managing this fuel is by actually tapping the trigger which is your aim down sights button continuously rather than a hold down of the trigger while flying as this greatly reduces your fuel consumption over time so get some practice in tapping that trigger and floating more so than actually just flying and holding the trigger down. Um, all of this is in the name of using the jetpack to the fullest it can be used, as this is what gives Boba the edge over pretty much every blaster hero in the game. Uh, to that end, whilst flying, Boba is able to do a mid-air recovery when knocked out of the sky by explosives, which is also a very handy tool at your disposal as it can leave you less exposed, less exposed and more likely to survive. He is also able to dash midair, so do not forget to use that while being shot at by multiple enemies. Uh, on top of this, another tip I can give you guys is to spend a lot of time in arcade practicing your aim whilst you're flying, as it is a very important skill to have and will save your life more often than not. It is extremely handy and once you have learnt to master this skill it becomes even harder for your enemies to take you down and you'll be much more effective as a Boba player. Uh, adding to this point as well, practice using his jetpack to fly low and quickly. As you can see from the footage here in the background, flying high and staying high has two major drawbacks. One is that it de depletes your jetpack fuel faster and two, it is actually much harder to hit targets whilst you're higher up in the air. So many Boba players can make this mistake and it causes you to be much less effective while using Boba. Keeping on the move as much as possible is advised given his advanced mobility and sticking to your close range, medium range fights is what will make you most successful as I mentioned earlier. Due to his advanced mobility, the maps I would most recommend choosing Boba on in Galactic Assault are Kashyyyk, Yavin 4, Tatooine and Crate. All of these maps have wide open spaces and the high ground to suit Boba's playstyle perfectly and you are able to actually feel like a bounty hunter since you are able to traverse the map much faster than any other character in the game. So for those of you who wish to practice with Boba, these are the maps to begin with. So now I'll move on to some tips for the hero game modes, mostly focusing on dealing with those pesky swing spamming saber heroes. Do not feel the need to fly away and cower in fear, there are definitely methods of dealing with those pesky Luke, Ray, and Anakin players, especially at close to medium range. The most effective way I deal with 
Saber Heroes is by using a cat and mouse tactic. So what this means is you're keeping yourself just out of reach of a saber swing by dashing backwards or occasionally using your jetpack to stay just out of reach, backing up and shooting at them as they chase after you and keeping yourself at a close-ish sort of range like that encourages the saber hero to actually keep chasing you which gives you the advantage. Uh, his dash is amazing at avoiding saber swings which allows you to take out saber heroes with ease even if you don't use your jetpack at all. Uh, the footage in the background illustrates this tactic so use it to your full advantage. Uh, one final tip that I'll give uh, which is specifically an Anakin related tip is if you get pulled by him as you land on the ground you will do a sort of mid-air recovery. As your feet touch the ground immediately dash backwards or to the side since majority like literally 99.99% of Anakin players will immediately follow up the pull with a heroic might. So since Anakin's pull causes you to go over his head most of the time sometimes by dashing backwards you can av both avoid the heroic might and simultaneously get a clear shot on the back of his head which gives you the upper hand against Anakin. So use this to melt them ragdoll boys. One final tip I'd like to give for the hero modes is when coming up against blaster heroes is mostly to do with the blaster disabler card that I mentioned earlier. One additional effect that this card does for the concussion missile is that it is able to immediately disable certain abilities and send them into instant cooldown. As you can see from the background footage this includes Chewie's Bowcaster, Furious Bowcaster, Leia's E11 Rapid Fire, Han's sharpshooter ability and most important of all Finn's Deadeye. The only ability that doesn't get affected by this is Lando's sharp shot which will still hit you unfortunately. Now as for the heroes to avoid I would probably start with Finn since his Deadeye is the most effective way to counter uh, a Boba player. You must also be very careful around Chewbacca since he has a bowcaster that can continuously knock you out of the sky uh, a charge slam that can knock you over and a stun as well which is always something to be mindful of. Uh, the third character I recommend avoiding or being very careful around at least is Han because he has two knockdown abilities and his blaster at close to medium range is probably the best blaster in the game especially if he can land a couple of headshots on you. So that's, uh, that's it for another hero guide guys. I hope you enjoyed this guide and uh, took some good tips from it to improve your overall gameplay with Boba. Uh, the GA footage used in this guide will actually be subject for a future breakdown as well so don't forget to stay tuned for that uh, and as always like the video, share, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future guides or any other videos. So with all of that out of the way I'll get out of here and see you guys in the next video. Peace!